Let's give a proof of this classic result in abstract algebra, the fact that any Euclidean domain is also a PID, a principal ideal domain. The proof goes as follows. Let R be a Euclidean domain with respect to a function D. Remember that what that means is that there is a long division with respect to that D. So if you have any A, B in the ring and B is non-zero, there are Q and R such that A is B times Q plus R, uh, where that remainder is either a zero or D of that R is less than D of the B you are dividing by. Okay, so now we want to prove that this is a principal ideal domain. So let I be an ideal of R and let's prove that that is principal. If I is zero, then that's clearly principal. So let's assume that I, the ideal, is non-zero. Now what we're going to do is uh, form a set of all the D values of elements of the ideal that are non-zero. And this set, because the ideal is not the zero ideal, there is something else in that ideal, so it's non-empty. So D is a non-empty subset of uh, non-negative integers, and therefore there is a minimum value. So let M be the minimum value of the D values of alphas in I. And uh, since it's a minimum, there is some alpha that obtains that minimum. And therefore, uh, there is some alpha in I such that D of alpha is M, the minimum. And we claim that actually I, the ideal I, is exactly the ideal generated by alpha. Uh, alpha is in I, so there is an inclusion already that this uh, principal ideal is contained in I, but we want to show that actually I is contained in this principal ideal. So let beta be just any non-zero element of I, and I want to show that beta is in here. Now, R is Euclidean, and therefore there are some Q and R in the ring, such that beta is alpha Q plus R, uh, where R, that remainder, well, if it's zero, we're going to be done. So uh, the other possibility is that the D of R is less than the D of alpha in the definition of Euclidean. But notice that R uh, in here is uh, beta minus alpha Q, uh, Q is in the rank, alpha is in the ideal, and beta is in the ideal. So this element is in the ideal. So R is an element of the ideal such that D of R is less than D of alpha. But D of alpha was the minimum value of uh, the minimum D value of things in the ideal. So the D of R being less than D of alpha is impossible because M was the minimum of such value. So there cannot be a smaller value among the elements of the ideal. Therefore, uh, this possibility is nonsense, so we must have that possibility that the uh, remainder is zero, and therefore beta is equal to alpha q. But if beta is equal to alpha q, then beta is in the ideal generated by alpha. And therefore we have that the ideal is contained in the ideal generated by alpha, and alpha is contained in the ideal, and therefore the ideal is principal like we wanted to show.